in our politics where the populist left and the populist right can unite on some of these issues? Yeah, so I think we're actually already doing that because you could see that, um, for example, Mike Lee, Republican Senator of Utah, and Bernie Sanders, they uh, work together to uh, use the War Powers Act to basically try to stop us from arming Saudi Arabia and helping them facilitate a genocide in Yemen. So you do have, that's exactly, that's right. That's a really good thing. So, you know, you do have points of agreement when it comes to war where we can work together. And uh, you do have points of agreement when it comes to uh, the drug war, for example. You know, I want to free every single nonviolent drug offender in this country. Um, you know, I also want to uh, legalize marijuana. I want to decriminalize all substances. Because, listen, it really is a, it's a personal issue, and if anybody has problems with it, they should be getting treatment, they should be getting rehabilitation, they shouldn't be locked up. Um, so, yeah, there are points of agreement. I think when it comes to social issues, Charlie and I will agree, in so far as you fully do agree with non-interventionism on foreign policy and basically a hands-off approach to, you know, cultural issues and so social issues. Yeah, and look, so here's... Here's one thought exercise, and I do want Kyle to have, I, I, I know we're running out of time, but we'll, we'll agree, but I don't totally agree with everything on foreign policy, but we're mo more in agreement that we should have a more restrained foreign policy. Drugs, I wouldn't, boy, that's too far for me, but I do think decriminalization of certain substances is perfectly fine. But here's what always perplexes me, and Kyle, backstage you called yourself a libertarian leftist. Is that a correct way? That's a fair categorization, or populist left, I okay. call myself. Okay, so here, here's something, and, and maybe you can explain it to me. I'm skeptical of government in all forms. So I'm skeptical of the government that locks up the people that are wrongly accused, skeptical of the government that declares war on the country that is incorrect and invades the sovereign country. That's also why I want to restrain federal bureaucracy and federal regulation. If you don't trust the government, Kyle, why do you want the government to run our health care and take all of our guns away? That's a good question. That's actually a very good question, and I'm more than happy to answer it. So it's because I'm also an empiricist. And so I believe in you know, what I can see, what is evidence-based. And when I look around the rest of the world, it's just a fact that the rest of the developed world, particularly in Scandinavia, they kick our butt when it comes to health care, when it comes to education. So ultimately, listen, I do want to maximize freedom as much as possible, but I'm also <laughs> pragmatic in the sense that right. I'm not going to stubbornly refuse to improve our healthcare system when I can see the studies. I see that we're ranked number 37. I see that the UK and France are routinely ranked in the top five. The rest of the Scandinavian places are in the top five. And so I don't have a fucking cinder block where my head is supposed to be. I know that there are some things so, where I, government works. And we should question? indeed have more government in those do you areas. Wanna, do you want to get rid of the federal minimum wage? Oh, I want to increase it. Well, the it. Scandinavian countries, except Finland, have no federal minimum wage. That's a good point, but yeah, tell, so we tell them, get why, rid of no, the no, but tell them why that is. That's because, because they have they unionization for everybody. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. so they voluntarily collectively bargain. Right. Sweden has, you know, so I, I want to close this point. Sweden has universal school choice. They have higher degrees of economic freedom in Norway, Sweden, fin Finland, Denmark than in America. They have, like I mentioned, they have no federal minimum wage. There's also some bad things in the Scandinavian countries, like a 200% tax on cars, like a 22% VAT tax and sales tax, like the average income tax, 48% for the middle class, not the rich. Um, but oh, oh, by the way, the other thing that always perplexes me, and I know we're running low on time, is that Senator Sanders, you know, your preferred candidate, wants to keep it in the ground and has a big war on fossil fuels. However, it's the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund that has been funded primarily through North Sea oil, natural gas, and fracking, the very same resource that the left likes to demonize. But uh, the final thing I'll say is this. Do you want me to answer that or no? <laughs> well, I mean, I think we're running. I, I, I mean, how much yeah. time do we have? Uh, but no, we do got to wrap it up. Say, say your last thing, and then Kyle can respond. Last thing I'll say is this. I'm consistent with the use of government power. I don't think you can pick and choose where you want government big and government small. I, I am skeptical of government power when it comes to them confiscating our guns, running our health care, running our education system, and telling private businesses how to, how to operate. I believe in the rights granted from a creator, not from God. And finally, I just find it interesting that people can say, I want government to be totally in control of things that matter to you most, but not in control of other things. I find that highly ironic. Either you are trustful of government or distrustful of government. I will always err on the side of freedom and liberty, not on bureaucratic, corrupt government. Okay. All right, last word. Listen, that's fine. Listen, you could categorize that however you want to categorize it. I'd call it nuance. I'd say, you know, I can see places around the world where government works better in certain areas, and I can see places where I want less government. For example, another point of agreement we would have is on the NSA. I don't want the, every, the government spying on us every which way. So, 
But to answer your question, because you brought up the sovereign wealth fund and how that's funded through fossil fuels, which is true, and that's a decent point. However, what I would say is, listen, man, we got to get serious. And the bottom line is, there are inevitable patents and an economic boom just waiting to happen when it comes to green and renewable technology. Oh, my God. And I... You're so full of crap. I want, to I want a Green New Deal, emphasis on the New Deal part, to bring millions of jobs to this country, pay everybody a living wage, mm. and make sure that we run the future, that we are the leading country moving forward. And I think that we could all win if we go down that path. All right, guys, let's give a big round of applause for Kyle and Charlie. And give a round of applause for Politicon 2019. Thank you all so much. Have a good night. Well, so at the end of it, they did get together, kumbaya moment, give each other a hug. I mean, Charlie should have whispered in the ear and basically go, dude, bruh, enough with the F-bombs. I mean, come on, we're debating over here, man. You got to, you know, you want to be emotional, be emotional, okay, with your facts, with your figures, with your data points. Be emotional with your assertions. Be emotional with your points on, you know, points on topic. Not just strutting around you know, like a rooster with its head cut off and dropping F-bombs and, you know, any other kind of bombs all over the place when you don't have anything, you know, good to say. And about that thing with the Nordic countries and Scandinavia and Norway and Finland, all that with the Sovereign Wealth Fund, you talk about with health care, you're talking about 99.99% white countries all the way across. You're not talking hardly any Asians, hardly any blacks, any Jewish people, any Chinese, any Japanese, any Asians, Pakistani, Indian, Middle Eastern, you know, Spanish, Latino, Hispanic, you know, African, none of that. So, of course, most of the disease processes that are going to happen are going to be what? Primarily those that occur to ethnic white populations. And then you're only talking millions of people in a country in a very small area geographically located, rather than 350 million people located across almost 3,500 miles of an expanse. Some in packed areas, densely populated cities, others very sparsely populated. And then you're talking about all of the health challenges that are associated with all sorts of demographics, all sorts of ethnicities, all sorts of heritage, I mean, all sorts of mixed population, mixed, you know, mixed race, all of that. And then there's no wealth sovereign fund here in which, um, you know, the uh, citizens are, are getting a piece from. So, and then everybody would like to have this thing in terms of all the innovations, all the new inventions, all the new technologies that are occurring. We've been hearing this for years, that the green jobs are going to be there. They're going to create a living wage for everybody. Everyone's going to have a million-dollar-a-year job in this industry. It's just not going to happen that way, folks. It's not going to happen. What were we told by Ying Yang? Remember the guy? I can't remember his name now. It's so obscure. The guy, last name of Yang, running for president. What was he saying? All the truckers, that by the time 2024 rolls around, what was going to happen? All the truckers, all they were going to lose their jobs. We're going to have to train truckers to go learn how to use a computer. They're going to have to go back to school. They're going to have to learn, okay, how to get into the, you know, in, in, into the 21st century technology. Because their trucks were going to, the truck industry was just going to go by the wayside. We have self driving trucks and all that. That was Yin Yang from Yang, wasn't it? And so we hear this all the time millions and millions of good paying jobs. Sounds good. Just never delivered. Anyways, folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you've been done so already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. Check out our other video links above and below. My final thought, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.